proton number and nuclear number. So what is proton number? The proton number represents the number of protons found in nucleus of an atom. So the proton number tells the number of protons right, in the nucleus. And just now we learned that the number of protons determine the types of atom, and therefore sometimes the proton number is also known as the atomic number. Okay, but anyway, in SBM we always use proton number, we do not use atomic number. Eh? Uh, we can find the number of electrons inside a particle if we know the charge of the particle and the proton number. If we know the proton number and we know the charge, we can find the number of electrons. Then how about nuclear number? What is nuclear number? We have learned that nucleons are the subatomic particle inside the nucleus of an atom. Okay, so the subatomic particles are inside the nucleus and we learned that there are two types of subatomic particles inside the nucleus, namely the protons and the neutrons. Therefore, both the protons and the neutrons are called the nucleon. Okay, so we have two new two types of nucleon, the protons and the neutrons. Huh? And therefore, a nuclear number represents the number of nucleons in an atom. Huh? So proton number shows the number of proton and nuclear number shows the number of nucleon. Eh? And nucleons include protons and neutron, and therefore the nuclear number is equal to the sum of number of proton and number of neutrons. Eh? So let's see this example. Let's say we have an atom and uh, it has 10 protons and 11 neutrons. Eh? Okay, so therefore uh, the amount of nucleons the amount of nucleon is 21, right? 10 plus 11, and both of these are nucleon, eh? and therefore the nucleon number is equal to 21. Okay, so that is nucleon number.